God, me sick, me reggae feel. Reggaeville family, we are at Summer Jam in 2022 and I have the great pleasure to welcome to our little interview setting right here, Jewel and Juju Royal Marley, fresh off the stage. How was the performance for you today? It was so much energy and vibes. Yeah, it was very, very explosive, you know. Um, we, you know, each show we just come with a spirit. We don't know what our spirit will say. We don't know what the, the crowd will say. We just come and say music and you know, the response that we got was very, very warm, you know, and the vibe was great, you know. This, and after this pandemic and the first year of festival, we have, it's something amazing, you know. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, this is, this is very special to all of us. I'm very happy that we're able now to also see you back on tour and traveling through Europe and so forth. And you did a very special show also recently in Sweden. And I really love the cause. It was a concert for climate. Please tell me a bit about that show. Well, you know, as we say, you know, I'm a humanitarian. We stand for love. We stand for one nest, one creator, one earth, taking care of the earth. And that show is really about saving the forest. Because right now, them say, to my understanding, we have two forests. And if one goes, we're in trouble. Right, so that is two forests which is like governing the whole world with oxygen, like, basically. You know, and it looks like there's a fight to, to cut down those trees for whatever the purpose is, which is obviously not good for us, not good for human, not good for any life, you know. So to stand for something positive is what, you know, that's, the, that's what we have to do, you know. We always have to stand up for what is right. Mother Nature, you know, it doesn't matter. Anything which is right, that is what we have to support, you know? Definitely. Yeah. And I mean, by your performance, you also created awareness. You made people aware of, of the problem and, and of, of measures that we can do. What do you do on a, let's say, day to day, or what could you advise people? Little things that we could already do to help improve the situation for the climate. First of all, something simple. Have love for humanity. Have love for the nature. You know, I've loved for life. And when you really love life and you love nature, you start to appreciate the things that are keeping us alive. <laughs> you know, simple little things, you know. So it's just to love, really to love nature, love life, love each other. Because if, if we cannot do that, we cannot even take care of the earth. If we cannot take care of ourselves and love each other, how can we love the earth, you know? So let's love each other and let's start from today, you know. Yeah. And you also did, you did a song recently, Don't Ruin My World. Please tell me a bit about that song as well. Well, that song is a very deep song. Um, Don't Ruin My World, trees and fruit of life. And, you know, so much, that song right now is going to make a good statement, you know, and will be um, on the forefront of some programs which will be, you know, defending that cause, you know. I'm not sure exactly what programs yet, but to my knowledge, they're going to use a song for as a as a statement, you know. So that is great. Yeah. Is. So we can look forward to to that. Um, yes, speaking of new music, you just recently dropped "Say" together with a Jewish hip hop artist. How did this collaboration come about? Well, it come about, come about just through social media. <laughs> You, you, did you know him personally? No, but you know, sometimes you know, you check out other artists, other artists check you out, and you say, Yeah, and a man might say, Hey, what's up? And we say, Yo, what's up, bro? Good vibes, yeah, good vibes. I would love to say, Yeah, good vibes. You know, I'm not really the type of person to say, No, 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 no. If, it, if, if, it, if my spirit and my heart says yes, I would just say yes, run the spot. You know? By because obviously we do a little bit of research. Likewise, yeah. each artist research each other, you know. So, and when you like the vibe, you say, "Yeah, man, good vibes," you know. So, you have to have the same spirit, um, not necessarily the same music, because I mean, this is kind of it's a hip hop song, right? Yeah, definitely different sound, definitely. Yeah, which you know, but like we say, it's music. Music has no boundaries, and. You know, just say you must take the message to the four corners of the earth. 
So at this corner is a different sound. So we have to go in this corner with this sound. When we come back in this corner, it's our sound and whatever is happening in the other corners, we have to figure it out. But you said take it to all four corners. So that means taking it into different sounds, people that don't listen to reggae, who still want the message, but they have not been introduced or they don't listen to it or whatever. So sometimes it's good, you know, that's why we do different sounds in the, in the first place, you know. And I mean, speaking of different sounds, you did a cover version of The Tide is High, with also a bit of a different sound, right? How did this um, production come about and who was responsible for the, let's say, EDM sound of this cover version? Well, my brother Alex, my bridging Alex, um, is a good bridging and legendary producer. Um, I've gone blank on some of the names, but if you check the, 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 the credits, you'll see the production and the names and stuff like that. But I mean, that came about like organic, like he has, he, at the time he was having a little spot in Jamaica at Devon House, where he played a little music. And in the pandemic, right before the pandemic, I was there and I went a couple of times and then he played me some tracks. He's like, hey, I got a studio inside, come see. And I went inside and he played some stuff. He's like, yo, I really like your sound. Hear this, hear this beat, hear this beat. I was thinking about Tidy's High, John Holt, you know. And I was like, you know what, John Holt is my teacher. And I, I, know John, I knew John Holt personally, so it wasn't something strange for me to... I was like, I'll do it if he, it's fun, you know. It's Tidy's High, and it's like a good vibe, you know. So it's a natural, organic style. <laughs> Interestingly, that you also shot the video in that very spot afterwards at Devon House, right? And that's where basically I voiced the song, so not right in the house itself, but you have another little property behind. That's where we voiced it and all of that stuff and did the video right there. So the concept is real, you know? Yeah. And I mean, for Jamaicans, Devon House is very, very important as a heritage site, being the house of the first um, black millionaire in Jamaica. It's also on the same road as your father's house, is on Hope Road. But um, please tell me a bit about the significance of this place and, and why this was put in the video. Well, you it's know, still beautiful. yeah, I mean, you know, it's like bringing the old to the new. Because we, it's like remaking a song from the 60s, or the, whatever, yeah, 60s. And Devon House is from whenever, way before, but it's still, you know, something we're bringing into the new. So we're bringing the old and the new. Devon House have the right kind of vibe to give you a nice, like, a bright color and a nice, like, background, you know? So it's like a, and it's still like an old school vibe also about it. If you notice, I was in some. Some 70s clothes. <laughs> so it was a vibe, you know? Yeah. Definitely. It has a vibe. And as I mentioned, um, a, a very important place for the black community. And recently you received an award on behalf of your father on a black walk of fame also, which was established, I think, in 2022 and is in Atlanta, Georgia, right? Tell me a bit about, about this walk of fame. Well, it was a great um, experience to um, be able to receive something for our father, on the behalf of the family, you know. Um, yeah, man, it's, just, it's, it's a nice vibe, you know. It's more positivity out there in the world. When you say Bob Marley, at least can, if, you, if you put Bob Marley on that, that wall there, somebody goes, who's Bob Marley? Google, you're getting conscious. You're gonna, you're gonna get some positive vibrations, so, you know. That is a great thing to have that, you know. And, you know, like our father, he's a very, like when you listen to his interviews, he's a very humble man. He speaks like, that's all right, that's how it's plaque, you know. But we give thanks also and still know say it's a plaque, but we know say it's a big, it's not just a plaque, it's the mission and the works still going on, you know. So I really do appreciate the consciousness that you're spreading also with your music today, also with the releases that, that you're putting out. I want to take you on a little walk also down history lane so to speak i brought some stuff um have a little bag here and i would just take out something random and you can tell me what this reminds you of or you know what memories that evokes maybe you want to hold the mic and all right let's see what i have here all right let's see what you was happening right here <laughs> I oh, want one bag like that, see that bag there, nice. <laughs> it's not mine neither, so I think, um, let me see. What we have there? Oh, this is young. This is nice. 
Whoa! You remember, that's like, whoa, that's back in the days when we just start. The first set of shoes was like, you know, that's when we just start performing. And we just, just put out a song called Uprising, which was like the first single. 45, original vinyl 45, you know? Whoa! So yeah! Of vinyl, of Watch it, yeah. Watch it, you know? Original 45, the first 45. <laughs> what year is this? Uh, 1991. <laughs> yeah, whoa. Awesome. <laughs> Whoa. So this must have been around the same time, one of the first promotional pictures. Yes, this is when we released, um, well at that time I was releasing Line in the Morning and Junior Gang was releasing Mr. Marley. So, you know, them time they would come out on promotion, many him tour together, you know, and grow together that way. But yeah man, that's, wow, this, this, yeah, that one you take me forward in other days. <laughs> See? Yeah. So what else do we have here? I think I have one more item. Yes. One, which is geographically also very... Oh, I have this one. Let me take this one. Whoa! Lollapalooza! Why, that was like the... um. That is a Lollapalooza, well, Lollapalooza is a big festival. That was... Um, 1979, it says here. Um, 97? 97. 90, 90, yeah. 90. That, no, was a, that, that was me and Junior Gang first independent tour. Like our first time we go up on the road. You know, that was like nerve wracking. <laughs> you know what time we play? 11 o'clock in the morning. Okay. At that time we go past stage, midday. The latest we go past stage is 12.30. <laughs> right, right, right. That was about time, just about to get breakfast. Right. And hit the stage. <laughs> and you still recall the time and all Yeah, because that was like, yeah, that was like, what? How much weeks was that? We did that for probably like six weeks. Okay. So that is drum dean, yeah, you don't forget that wow. tour, you know? Wow, wow. Yeah. And we have some memories of this one. Legendary Africa Unite. Ethiopia, Addis Ababa, 2005. Yeah, that was a that was a that was a great show. That was a very very um, spiritual show for, mm -hmm. for the brothers, for the family, for Ethiopia, for Africa. You know. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And we have here this. Yeah. Yeah, man. Africa unites. You know. Yes. That's uh, you. You really took me down the memory lane with that one. <laughs> nice, nice. Yes. So I, um, I hope you enjoyed our little walk down memory lane. You really, you, you took me back. You really took me back the memory lane, especially this one here. That's the first introduction to like, all right, you know, coming out. <laughs> and see where it brought you today, and you know, still spreading the message, still spreading the consciousness. It's true. This is true. It's good to be here, you know. And give thanks for some of jam and the old vibes. Reggae music lives on, ever living, you know. One love, one God, one aim, one destiny, you know, as we would say, and we, we don't stop saying, you know. Awesome. Yeah. All right, so this has been almost three decades now, so we're up for the next decades. All the very best for that, Juju. Yes, yes. For yes. all the things yet to come, blessings, thanks, you know, all the very best. One love, blessed love, yes, Thank give you. thanks. Me bad, me sick, me reggae feel. 